My name is Sue Page, and I am the CEO of Canada's Digital Technology Supercluster. Canada's Digital Technology Supercluster is one of five superclusters that were identified by the federal government for special recognition and funding from the federal government as part of an innovative supercluster initiative. And the idea behind this is creating environments and ecosystems where companies in different organizations across Canada can come together and work on projects and develop products and technologies and services that are of use to Canada. More importantly, they're globally useful and can be marketed to new markets and new customers. And these are products and services that no organization could do on their own. So the digital technology supercluster is focused on creating digital technologies, digital platforms to help with the uh, ongoing transformation of Canada's economy, the global economy, and in fact society overall. We have now over 400 members. These include all of the research universities in British Columbia. It includes organizations from small startup enterprises to major multinationals to Canadian-based national and small and medium enterprises from British Columbia and in fact across the country. Because the digitization of the economy is so ubiquitous and will affect every part of the economy, for the initial start of our projects in the technology supercluster, we have focused on three industry areas, precision health, natural resources, and advanced manufacturing. So in the first phase of projects, which will come into Canada's uh, activity zone in the fall of 2018, we are looking at projects in those three industrial areas. So when we talk about the digital transformation of our economies and our society, what do we really mean? Well, according to a lot of the research that has been done in Canada alone, the digital transformation and the fourth industrial revolution that we are in right now will result in two million jobs that are currently in our workplace disappearing and being replaced by three million jobs many of which don't exist yet. And this transformation is going to happen within the next 15 years. It's going to be very, very fast. It also means that when we look at data, data is in fact the new currency. And we know that societies from the beginning of time have operated with a currency. Now data is the currency. Some used to say that in the 20th century, uh, oil was what drove the economy. The 21st century and going forward, it's data that's going to drive our economy. And so economies, societies, and businesses that know how to capture, leverage, effectively protect, and manage data will be the societies that succeed and that have the most opportunity for them, themselves and their citizens. There are few markets around the world that are more significant than the Asia Pacific. We need go no further than to look at the incredible growth, the GDP growth across the Asia Pacific, the population growth, the demands that the populations in the Asia Pacific countries are going to have, especially for digital technologies, to know that this is a very significant market. There is no organization in the country more effective in helping Canadian businesses understand, engage with, work with, and do business with the Asia Pacific countries than the Asia Pacific Foundation. It's what the Asia Pacific Foundation does. The staff, the leadership, the knowledge, and the integrity and the credibility that the Asia Pacific Foundation has across Canada, around the world, and in particular in the Asia Pacific markets, makes it the absolute perfect partner for Canadian businesses and organizations like Canada's Digital Technology Supercluster to work with so that we can be successful for the benefit of Canadians and indeed for the benefit of the Asia Pacific as well.